Recently, I bought HP gaming laptop that ships with Windows 11. It delivers very good performance. But for some reason, I detest using Windows and decided to install Linux on my laptop. There are so many Linux distributions out there and I tried most of them and decided to stick to Arch Linux and use it for two months. So if you are planning to replace Windows 11 with Linux on your PC or laptop, then this is the easiest method to follow and set up Arch Linux in 2023. Before starting this video, let's give a quick introduction to my HP Pavilion gaming laptop that comes with AMD Ryzen 5600H, 144Hz refresh rate and 24 gigs of RAM and NVIDIA RTX 3050. The hardware on this laptop is incredible. It can run anything or high-end games without any issues. After trying out Arch Linux on my laptop, I was amazed by the performance and decided to wipe off Windows 11. Now keep in mind, I'm going to erase Windows 11 and show you installing Arch Linux on the bare metal. So back up any important files just to be on the safer side. With that being said, it's time to get started with the Arch Linux installation. First, head over to the Arch Linux website and download the ISO image. Once the download is complete, you will need to burn the ISO to your USB drive. Make sure that you have an 8 gigs or higher pen drive and connect it to your computer. You can use Rufus, DD, or Belana Etcher to create a bootable USB with Arch Linux. For the sake of this video, I will be using Rufus to burn the Arch Linux ISO. Once it's done, go ahead and reboot your computer. While it's rebooting, you need to enter into BIOS settings. Use the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. The mostly could be F2, F9, or escape key. The first thing to do after entering into BIOS is to enable USB boot. Then change the boot order by setting the USB drive as primary. We go ahead and disable secure boot, which is very, very important. Otherwise, Arch Linux may not go into boot. If you have any option like Microsoft's third party UEFI, just go ahead and enable it. It's also better to clear any keys or certificates after disabling the secure boot. And this way, it won't cause any installation problems. Now, once it's done, save the changes. Now, your system will boot into Arch Linux from the USB drive. And if in case it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load Arch Linux install media. Now when you see this screen, you can choose the first option to boot into the Arch Linux installer. Now as you can see, my laptop keeps on restarting and failing to load the installer. Now this is because of the built-in GPU. Now if you face the same issues just like me, highlight the first option and press the letter E on your keyboard to enter into the editor mode. Then look for the Linux line and go to the end of this line and add an argument called no mode set. Now press F10 to load the kernel with the new argument. And this is going to disable the iGPU or NVIDIA GPU and loads the installer in safe graphics mode. Now you can see it has successfully booted into the Arch Linux installation setup. The first thing is to check for the stable internet connection. If your computer is connected to the internet via ethernet cable, you can use the ping command to check the connection. If your computer has built-in Wi-Fi support, you can use the IWCTL tool to connect to the internet. To use IWCTL, simply type IWCTL in the terminal to enter the IWD shell. Then type the device list to see the list of network interfaces. Then look for WLAN 0 and then type device WLAN 0 
show to see more information about the WLAN0 interface. The type station WLAN0 get dash networks to see the list of Wi Fi networks. Next, run the command station WLAN0 connect and enter the name of your Wi Fi network. Then press the written key and enter the Wi Fi password. After entering the password, wait for 5 seconds and press the enter key to connect to the internet. You may not see any output, but if the connection was successful, you can simply exit the IWD mode. That's it, you have successfully connected to the internet and you're ready to continue with the Arch Linux installation process. Now run the ping command and make sure you are receiving the packets. All right, as you can see, I have connected to my computer via SSH. And the type pacman -s -y to synchronize system packages and upgrade them to the latest version. Now run these two commands before using pacman. It's time to format the drive and prepare it for the Arch Linux installation. Type lsblk to view a list of all the connected drives. In my case, devnvme0n1 is the drive where I want to install Arch Linux. You can also use the fdisk-l to see more information about the drives. And once you have confirmed the correct drive, run the command gdisk forward slash dev forward slash nvme0n1 to launch the gdisk. Replace the NVMe0N1 with the appropriate disk identifier. Now in the GDisk tool, press X to enter the expert mode, and then press C to erase the drive. Follow the prompts to complete the drive erasing process. Now at this point, dev NVMe0N1 should be a brand new and free of any partitions. Now launch the Arch Linux installer script by typing arch install in the terminal. If the command is not found, you can install the required package by running this command. Arch install script makes the Arch Linux installation process faster and easier. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options, then set the system language by selecting your option. The first five options can be left at their default values. Next, highlight the drive that you want to install Arch Linux. In my case, it's dev nvme0n1. Select the drive by pressing either the spacebar or the tab key. You can see an asterisk between the square brackets that indicates the drive selection. Then press the enter key to return to the main menu. Now select the disk layout and choose the second option to wipe the drive and use the default partition layout. You can choose BTRFS as the file system for the installation. Additionally, if you want to secure your installation with encryption, you can set an encryption password. Next, select the bootloader. You have the option to use either systemd or the grub bootloader. I'm going to choose grub. I will leave the swap value set as true and leave the hostname as Arch Linux. Now after that, set the root password and assign a password for the root user. Then create a new user account. You can even add the new user to the pseudo words list for elevator privileges. Now choose to confirm and exit. It's time to install the desktop environment. To do so, select the profile option and choose desktop. The Arch install script offers a plethora of options to choose from, but for the demonstration, I will opt for the Plasma desktop environment. Next, select the graphic drivers that you want to install. If you have a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card, choose the proprietary or NAU driver accordingly. Then select the audio option and choose the audio server. For best results on most computers, it's recommended to use Pipewire. 
If you wish, you can also install additional kernels, but for now, I will stick with the default or the latest kernel. Under the additional packages, you can specify a list of tools to be installed separated by spaces. Now after that, select the network configuration and choose to use the network manager. Finally, select your time zone to set the correct time on your system. You go ahead and check all the options and have not left anything blank. Once you have confirmed all the options, select the install option and wait for a few minutes for Arch Linux to be fully installed on your computer. That's it, with a few simple steps you have successfully installed Arch Linux using the Arch install script. The prompt to perform post-installation steps will appear once the installation has been completed. Select yes to enter the chroot environment and start customizing your new Arch Linux installation. It's time to install useful tools such as Firefox, LibreOffice, and BPyTal. Once you have finished installing, exit the chroot environment and type reboot to restart your computer. Once the screen goes black, remove the USB drive. The computer should boot automatically into Arch Linux, but in case it doesn't, you can select the drive from the boot menu. This is how you can quickly and easily install Arch Linux using the Arch install script on any laptop or PC. Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.